Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's hop straight into it, y'all. Oh, first things first, y'all, real quick. If you would like to enter into the Christmas raffle here, okay, you can cash out me or you can PayPal me a dollar to enter. You can buy as many tickets as you would like, y'all, okay? You got the rest of the night here, okay, and the rest of tomorrow. Early, early, early Christmas morning, like early Christmas morning, I'm going to go live and I'm going to announce the winner, okay? So, if you with your family or whatever, you can always... Uh, Go back to the live or whatever and see if your name has been called. Well, I'm going to go live um, Christmas morning. Okay, so get your ticket, y'all. All right, get your ticket, get your ticket, get your ticket. <sighs> okay. Let's see what we got here, y'all. All right. Angel spirit guides, ancestors, amount of the highest, highest, highest white light. Give me some messages here for my YouTube collective. Give me some messages here for my YouTube collective. What is something that they need to see? Spirit. What's something that they need to see? You got King of Wands. Yeah, somebody. Oh Lord, somebody here is tired. This King of Wands, I feel like he's tired, holding back and not saying something. Okay, because I keep yawning. This person here ready to take action here. Okay, this person could be a boss. Okay. Yeah, in their career, this person could have their own company, own business, and if not, you know, this person. They're very financially well off here, okay. And and so you got a wealthy businessman that want to come in and want to build a family here with you, okay. You got the King of Wands and you got the Ten of Pentacles here, okay. Somebody here could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here, okay. So fire and earth here, all right. So you definitely got some, yeah, look, confirmation. You got a wealthy, you got a wealthy businessman here, y'all, okay? <laughs> they want to come in and they want to build a family here with you, okay? This is also somebody here that I feel like they don't go, look, and you heard that, that, that money thing and whatever. This person has, has money, y'all, okay? And I feel like they look at you as the perfect person to build with, okay? So it's like you're you're uh, a great companion when it comes to love, but you're also a great partner to build with, like a legacy with. So that means that I feel like you all could be this, you all could be like a queen of wands here, okay? Or a queen of pentacles, that's what I'm picking up because that's like a match here, like a leader, somebody that's really good with money here. This person want to build with you here. Okay, you could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, you're someone that's very creative here. Okay, very creative. You could be a boss, okay? Or you're somebody here that just got a whole lot of creativity and this person feel like they can have like things with you, like create things with you here. Okay, build with you. All right, you could be somebody that's very intuitive as well. This person look at you as somebody they can have marriage with here. Okay. Somebody here could have been going through a whole bunch of burdens. I feel like this King of Wands could have been burdened at one point. Okay. Maybe their finances wasn't as good at first and this person had to get their finances back together. Or this could have been you at one point. You could have had a whole lot of stress, a whole lot of burdens here. 
okay? I feel like extra responsibility. Like, I feel like this person could have been taking care of people. So by this person being a leader or something like that, maybe they had people around them that they was taking care of or people that always reached out to them for help. And, and it's like, once they got down and out, Once they got down and out and needed somebody to depend on, they didn't have nobody, but they did. I feel like this person always knew that they had you there. They just didn't want to come out and ask you here. Okay, they didn't want to come out and ask you. is putting an end to people using them this person is watching you get money okay point blank period this person is watching you in a single self-sufficient energy things going really well for you okay and they love what they see whoever this is they love what they see they love you in this boss mode here okay it make them want you even more all right and it's like they done became addicted to watching you so if you got like an online business or an online presence or something like that they're watching you i feel like this person has put an ending yeah this person had i feel like this person had a major ending with some people here okay yeah something here is balancing out okay some type of truth has came out here okay and i feel like this person blocked these people out here okay that was causing burdens and stress in this person's life here. Okay, they, they made a decision, okay, to cut these people off because it was it was weighing them down here. Okay, and it was keeping them stagnant. And this person had to cut their motherfucking ass off. Okay. Now this person is manifesting you. Okay. They got like this burning desire for you here. Okay, they want you. They want a new beginning here. Yeah. This person see you as nurturing. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah. Oh, no. This person don't walk away from a mother. This person walked away from a mother figure that was overbearing and trying to control their life okay so whoever this reading is for you're dealing with somebody that definitely could have been financially well off a boss when it came to their work here but when it came for them to step up be a leader in their own life this person was a page just like they was a child okay this mother definitely overstepped her damn boundaries and she she could have caused this man to lose out here a lot. Okay. This mother could have been a narcissist or something like that, y'all. Is what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah, this mother could have been codependent on her son here. Jealous, obsessive here. She has self-love issues. And so she tried to live through her 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 child here. Okay. Yeah. And this and this King of Wands here, your person here. Walked away and leaving her behind like, uh-uh, I can't let you control my life no more. I feel like that's what he said. I can't let you control my life no more, mama. I, I, I'm going towards what I want. This man wants you. So he choosing you over his mom and it ain't really, it's not about him choosing you over his own mama. It's the simple fact that he's a grown man and this woman been trying, yeah, it's a tower moment. She don't like that. Yeah, it's going to be a sudden change here. Okay, this person has went through some type of awakening. And this person see the truth and shit. Something that's going to be made fair to you here. Okay? Definitely something. And something is balancing out, y'all. Okay? If this person judged you in any way wrongly, 
because of this mother, because I'm definitely finna be made fair to you. Justice, you finna get justice here. If somebody lied on you in any way, okay, definitely something is finna balance out here, okay, and you're gonna receive some type of justice, all right? Yeah, see, this mama here was lying on you. Didn't I say that? I said if somebody was lying, somebody here was trying to cloud somebody's judgment here. Didn't want them to have their own clarity, like inner clarity here. Didn't want them to use their intuition. Wanted them to be confused here with the Ace of Swords in reverse here. Okay, this is a motherfucker being sneaky as hell. This Queen of Cups in reverse was trying to do some sneaky shit here. Cloud her own son. Judgment was a whole lot of chaos here. Okay, for some of y'all, a mother could have been racist as hell. Okay, this person betrayed her own son here. Okay. Yeah, trickery. Okay, dishonesty. This woman could have even been into theft. A whole lot of criminal activity, y'all. Okay, different things. Just deceptive, y'all. Okay, just very deceptive here. All right. And if this wasn't a man's mother, it could have been like a baby mama. But I'm picking up on mother. But for some of y'all, it could have been a baby mother. Okay. Hierophant. What's this hierophant? What's this hierophant? What's this hierophant spirit? Yeah, this person holds you in high honor here. Okay, this person want a high level commitment with you. This person want to ask for your forgiveness here. Okay, I feel like this person could have been very religious and maybe you were spiritual. And, and this mother, baby mama, or this mother here, okay, could have made it seem like maybe you worshiped the devil or you was on the dark side or something because of your spirituality. Because it's coming up that this person could be on the on the religious side, very traditional here. But this person also holds you in a uh, high honor here. Okay. This person is realizing, like, whatever kind of lies this mother told here, okay, was harsh and cruel, and it was unnecessary. And he also realized that it was a form of manipulation, so he knows the truth here, okay? This mother figure just didn't like you, didn't want this person with you, but, but whoever this king of wands says, don't give a fuck, don't give a damn, and he, and he want to... Move on with you. Okay. He want to move towards common waters with you. Okay. Yeah. This person is releasing any kind of baggage. Any kind of ties with these toxic ass people here. All right. That was around them. Specifically a mother. Okay. This person just want to go towards new beginnings. They're trusting their heart here. Okay. And their mind. Their heart and their mind. And they just want to take this new beginning. We take this deeper faith towards you. Okay. Yeah. This person did some type of soul searching here, y'all. Okay. And they got all the, the answers and clarity that they needed here. Okay. So this person is not listening to nobody else. They're listening to themselves. Okay. And their intuition is telling them to go towards you here. Okay, this person put some endings to a lot of shit. Oh, outdated way of thinking. Okay. Toxic people in their life. This person has transformed beautifully. They just want a new beginning. They definitely went through some type of transformation. You all too. You all could have went through a transformation as well too. Okay, but it's the end of a cycle. You all have got to have a new beginning together here. Okay, this person loves you. This person loves you. And it's a channel song by Anthony Hamilton here. No matter what the people say, I'm going to love you anyway because you are my life. Okay? Listen to that song by Anthony Hamilton. That's a channel song. Okay? No matter what the people say. Yeah, Three of Cups, you all going to be celebrating with each other. 
Okay, y'all gonna be very happy. Okay, I feel like you all are gonna be doing something together far as work or something. Okay, I feel like y'all gonna be getting invited to places here. Okay, yeah, this is just you just entering a happy time into your life here. Okay, I feel like when you all reconcile, you all are gonna be very happy. Y'all gonna be going out, meeting people here. Okay, yeah, I feel like people are gonna love seeing you two together. Even though I feel like you could have people that are, you know, that could be jealous of y'all. But it's going to be more people that love y'all than anything. And you all, relationship going to be abundant here. Very abundant. Okay. I feel like a lot of you all's blessings is going to come in even more when you all come together. Okay. Very abundant here. Okay. Whole lot of wealth in this relationship. Okay. Prosperity here. Okay. This is beautiful, y'all. This person see you is total wish fulfillment. Yeah, total wish fulfillment here, y'all. Okay, this person is standing up for this connection. They're defending you. This person is saying that you're you're getting, you know, the fruits of your labor here. Okay, yeah, you're somebody here that that uh, you're self sufficient here. Okay, you're somebody that's financially stable. All right, and they love seeing you in this successful boss energy here, okay? It make them want you even more like, oh, we, okay? <laughs> I don't know if this person ever seen you like in your grind mode or whatever, but they love it though. And it's like you have become an obsession. I don't even know if you know how obsessed this person is with you, but this person is watching you, okay? They love seeing you in this energy. It's like they can't stop watching you. They love it here. Maybe at one point you was too focused on this relationship and, and you know what I'm saying? Maybe you weren't as focused as you are now, okay? So maybe at one point, well, when this person maybe could have, you know, y'all could have first been in separation and whatever. Maybe you started, you know, focusing on yourself a lot more here, okay? And you focused on your work. And by doing that, it's like you started doing things that you should have been doing but you know your mind was so focused on this person and in a relationship that you had stopped focusing on shit that you really supposed to been doing so it actually worked out in your favor here okay that this separation happened so it could have been that this happened for you to do things that you needed to do and also this person here okay let's see Stick some messages here. Uh -oh. This person, <laughs> this person is missing you sexually. Okay, this person feels like you're very shy. Okay, or to people you look like a, a good girl. Okay, but you take this person down in the bed. <laughs> this person misses sex with you. Okay. They definitely do. They love the fact that they got a chance to experience your wild side. Okay, because you don't show that out to the public. To the public, you're somebody that's very you're about your money, your boss, okay, and you're in like you're very shy. A, like a lady in the streets put a freak in the bed, and this person loves that about you. Okay, it's like you could dress sexy, you could have sexy stuff. But for the most part, you don't overdo it. You don't do too much. You you know what I'm saying? And it's like you give a person some imagination, if you get what I'm saying. It's the older people say. <laughs> but they like that about you because it's like you're still sexy even though you be covered up. So it's like you can wear a long dress all the way down to your ankles that's fitted. And your body banging, you look good. And he like, whoo, how you look this good with clothes on, Lord Jesus. I could just imagine how it looked without it on. This is kind of what it's giving me. But, yeah, this person loves that about you. You're sexy in your clothes. Okay, and this person ready to take you down. Pound town. That's what I heard. Pound town. <laughs> Ooh, Lord have mercy, y'all. I know it sounds like I'm sleepy, but because I am, I am. So sleepy, y'all. 
Don't forget about me because I haven't forgot about you. This person like, look, don't forget about me. This person knows you in this boss energy here. Okay, they know you got a lot of choices and suitors, but this person's like, baby, don't forget about me. Hold up. I'm coming. Don't forget about me, baby. All right. But I don't feel like y'all forgot about this person. You're just focused on your money. And you're just focused on yourself right now, even though your heart is still attached to this person. Because you still think about this person and love them. I just feel like you're focusing on you right now. But they love that, though. They love the fact that you're focusing on yourself and you're loving yourself. It's actually making you more attractive, honestly. Because you're not running up behind them. Okay? Yeah. It says, I love you so much, but I keep running from you and I don't understand. Okay? But I feel I definitely understand it was because of a mother or a mother figure that was manipulating them. They loved you if you had this motherfucking person manipulating him. Okay? So that's what he, he had to figure out. Why is it that he loved you so much and he kept running? Because he was being manipulated. Okay? This person feel like they were selfish and immature and they want to ask for your forgiveness. But a lot of this, I'm telling you, had to do with this mother figure. Okay? This person is secretly obsessed with you. They cannot stop watching you and thinking about you. Okay? So if you was wondering if this person loved you, Baby, they love you a lot. You don't even know it. But they're going to tell you. Even if they ain't told you right now, you all might intuitively know this, though. Okay, this person is learning how to put themselves first so they could be mirroring you. Learning how to put themselves first and love themselves here. Okay, getting that confidence here. Okay. Yeah, this person wants you to be patient with them. This person could have been scared of commitments. But this mother figure or whoever didn't make it no damn better. They could have made this person more insecure. Okay? To keep them around or keep control over this person. Yeah, this person learning a spiritual lesson right now, y'all. Okay? Or they have already learned it and they're getting ready to come in. But I feel like they're learning a lesson. They're still going through a lesson. Okay. But this person loves you a lot. And you just don't even know how much this person loves you. You got this person whole heart collective and you don't even know it. You don't even know it. But I'm telling you right now you do. You got their whole heart. You finna have their last name. I fear you will never forgive me. This person, that's another thing holding this up. This person feel like you will never forgive them for what they did. Okay? I also feel like it's something dealing with this person's family. It says, I'm always here for you. Even if you don't take this person back, this person is saying they'll always be there for you. This person didn't understand what this connection was at first. They knew it was strong, but they didn't know what it was. Okay, this person is saying no matter what happens, their heart will always belong to you. I told you, didn't I tell you, you got this person whole heart and you don't even know it? Baby, I don't think they ever gave a heart like this to anybody. Not like this. You don't even know it. This person absolutely love you. Okay? Yeah, this person is feeling guilty about the actions, okay, about their actions that they took with you here. And what they said to you. They didn't mean whatever it is they said and what they did. And they feel guilty about it. Okay. So if this person says something hurtful to you. Like I don't want you. Okay. I don't want a relationship with you. Or I don't, or whatever they did. Okay. This person's feeling guilty about their actions and what they said to you. Okay. And, and they, they are very regretful. They want to apologize to you okay it says all i'm thinking about right now is how attracted to you i am this person is very attracted to you I told you you're very sexy to this person here <laughs> i told this person is missing intimacy with you sex with you here okay you both needed he to heal things here okay you both needed to heal not just this person this person know they sabotaged this connection and they regret it they don't even know if if you're going to want them, this person feeling so empty without you. They just want to be around you. But they don't even know if, they, if you're going to reject them. 
and they scared of rejection. So it's like they want to come in, but they don't want you to reject them. They don't want you to do them how they did you. They feel like they wouldn't be able to take that and it'll set them back. But they feeling empty, empty without you. Okay. It says, I need to own up to where I feel sure. Yeah, this person just needs to be honest about how they truly feel. You know what I'm saying? They got all this love for you and just holding it in. All right. It says, I do love you. Just don't know how to show you. Yeah, this person just don't know how to show you right now here. Okay. But a part of it is because this person I'm telling you feel like if they come in that you could potentially hurt them here. Okay. And for, for some of them, they feel like you might try to do the same thing to them here. Okay. It says, I never expected to fall in love. Okay. So this person never expected to fall in love here with you. All right. They didn't, they didn't think that it was going to be this deep, but they feel hard as hell for you. Okay. They feel hard as hell for you. And right now, okay. This person is just trying to figure out, you know, when to come in and when this person come in, just take it slow. Okay, just take it real slow with this person. You ain't got to rush nothing. This person ain't going nowhere. Okay, <laughs> I'm telling you they ain't. So you don't have to rush anything with this person. Take your time. Okay. I want to see if you all had a past life together. Okay, so angel, spirit, guys, ancestors, and mine of the highest white light. Show me. What the collective and their person was in the past life. Peace and thank you. You all could have been like the guardian of the sea. Like a like a leader or something, okay? Y'all could have been like a leader of a, a a village or something like that, and it could have been around water, like a wherever it was a lot of water or something at here, okay? You all could have definitely been like a leader, okay? Some of you all could have been a writer, okay? A scribe or a writer here, okay? I'm even hearing a poet. Some of you all could have been a very poor, very deep, a lot of knowledge here. Okay. I feel even now, I feel like you could be somebody here that you're, you're a better writer than you are a speaker. This could even be this person here. Okay. This person could express themselves better by writing or you can here. Okay. It's like this person be knowing what they want to say in their head, but it don't come out right. When they try to speak here. Okay. And so this person definitely could want to write you a letter. Okay. Or something like that. I heard that song by Leah. I'm sending you a four page letter. And I enclose it with the kiss. And when I write him he better. And when I write him he better send it on time. Or get it on time. Or something like that. Yeah. Some of you in the past life could have been from Egypt. You could, you all could have been Egyptians. Okay. Egyptians. You all can have ancient knowledge here. Okay, some of this, some of you all could be, uh, you all can have a whole lot of knowledge here. Okay, a whole lot of knowledge, and it's from a past life. Okay, you all definitely could be Egyptians. Okay, or you were. Okay, you all have a whole lot of wisdom. Yeah, medicine man or woman here. Okay, you all could have been a healer. Okay, in the past life, all right, I'm getting where some of you all could have helped like injured soldiers or you could have went around helping people with illnesses. You could have did things to heal people with your hands or something like that. Okay, some of you all definitely could have dealt with herbs and different things. I'm getting like back in like back in those times, like leaves, different kind of leaves. Okay, and herbs and all that kind of stuff like you. You definitely did that in a past life. So you all definitely could be in the medical field now. And in a past life, you were a medicine man or a woman here. Okay. Yeah. I feel like in a past life, people was blessed to come across you here. I feel like 
you could have worked with different people everywhere. People from all over came to work with you to get healing or something like that here. Okay, you all could have even had the power to help with certain cancers or like sicknesses back then or something like that, y'all. That's what I'm getting. Okay, you could have been cold when it came to this medicine shit or healing. You could be a healer now. This, per this person could see that you're a healer. Okay, something about an orphan. Somebody could have been an orphan. Okay, somebody could have been abandoned in a past life. You was an orphan. Somebody could be dealing with abandonment issues now. Okay, somebody was definitely uh a, a, somebody now could have been abandoned by a mother or something like that. Okay, some of you all uh could be a god. Some of you all were were like an angel or something like that. Okay, some of you all definitely could have been an angel. So it's like how you have angels around you. You could have been an angel. Okay. You could have been an angel here. All right. But I also feel like it's an angel because you got angel right after this orphan. It's an angel watching this person that's abandoned. You could be the angel in this person's life in this lifetime. Okay. You could be the angel that's protecting and watching this person in this lifetime. Okay. But somebody in the past life was an orphan. Okay. And this, in this lifetime, I feel like you could be the angel. So something collective, maybe you are our angel and whoever your person is, it's like you're helping them heal. You're guiding them. You're protecting them because this person actually could have been abandoned or an orphan or something like that. And you're helping them here. Okay. You're healing them. You're healing them. Okay. You got a whole lot of knowledge here. Okay. Some of you are called to write a book. Okay. Some about a Celtic, a Celtic, okay, a Celtic cross. Knighthood here, okay. I feel like this person could have been a fighter in a past. Like I don't know why I'm getting like, uh, what is that? Uh, it's a movie with Eddie Murphy. Is it called Night? I don't know. That's why. That's what I got, y'all. I feel like this person. <laughs> I feel like this person could have been a young knight, like a fighter, a young fighter here or something like that. I feel like somebody was a fighter in their past life. So it was either you or this person. OK, I don't know. You all got a whole lot of wisdom here. So you all are very smart. OK, very, very smart. This person look at you as smart, too. OK, you got a whole lot of knowledge. And this person loved that vows. You all could have been married in a past life. Okay, and you all are meant to get married in this lifetime here. Okay, yeah, vows here. Okay, yeah, somebody here could have been in prison. Okay, feeling trapped. But what I get by this, I feel I'm getting like like slavery. Okay, more more so like slavery. So this person here was controlled by uh y'all i don't know why i'm getting virgin mary okay i'm getting virgin mary something about Mar virgin mary something about mary okay um yeah it's something about mary i don't know it's something about mary like jesus mother okay i don't know what that if what what that mean or whatever okay i don't know if some of you all are are Virgins or this person look at you as somebody that's very innocent, like a virgin here, okay? So you all could be very celibate. You all could be celibate here, okay? Very pure, very innocent here, okay? Like clean, like very clean. This is how this person look at you. Like can't know anybody touch you, okay? The Virgin Mary here, okay? Like you, you're not having sex like that and you don't give your body away like that. And this person love you. It's like, even though you're very attractive, even though you're very beautiful, you can have a very nice body. Different people want you, but can't everybody have you? This person loved that about you. Okay. I had to jump to that because in the side of my eye, y'all, I swear, I just seen an image of Mary. I promise you, I did. It's like she was standing over here and, um, and, and my 
peripheral over here, y'all. I promise you. I seen it over there. Okay, I was like, damn, I just seen the Virgin Mary over there. Or like an angel or something over there or something. But I but I got Virgin Mary here, okay? But yeah, this person here, y'all, I feel like I feel like this person was a fighter. <laughs> but I feel like this person was goofy because I'm getting Eddie Murphy. Okay, I feel like this person might not have even showed you. Okay, their silly side, a goofy side. They, this person might have always been real serious. Okay, like always defensive. But I don't feel like you've seen everything with this person just yet. Like I don't feel like you have just seen this person naked self yet. Like this person just ready to show you their true self here. Okay, yeah, you all were meant to have a love life together. Okay, this person ready... To have a beautiful life with you here. Okay. You all definitely had a beautiful love life in the past life here. Okay. And this person could have been a warrior. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. But I feel like now this person is just like this. This person is very serious and very guarded. Always ready to be in this fighting energy. But they're like, look, I don't have to be like this with my woman or the woman that I want. I don't have to be defensive and guarded with this person here. Okay, ready, <laughs> you know, with my defenses up here. Okay, this person just want to love you. Okay, they know you you ain't the one to be defensive with, to hold back from here. Okay, let's get some of these and I'm going to end it. Give me some messages from this thick spirit. Yeah, you, you you all right now are having a telepathic communication here. Okay, it says close soul connections are harmoniously synchronized, creating moments of telepathy. So you all are telepathically communicating with each other. Okay, and divine timing is at work right now, y'all. Okay, so just continue to boss up. Okay, work on your money because this person loved that shit. And they love to see you loving on yourself. Okay, they love this energy. Like, they love it. It's, it's like making you very attractive here. Okay? So, keep being in this energy, y'all. All right? But this person loves you. And know that the divine time is at work right now in your love life here. Okay? And also, I feel like with you, this person feels like a kid again. Okay? It's kind of like a crush or something like that. Like, you give this person butterflies here. Like, it's something that they never felt before, y'all. Some of y'all, for some of y'all, this could be for a small select few of y'all, but some of y'all, y'all knew this person since a kid, okay? And this person thinks about that a lot, that the fact that the love of their life, they actually have known since a kid. So it's like they can't wait to be with you, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so it's like lovers and friends here, okay? But this channel song, don't forget y'all, it's Anthony Hamilton here. Okay, let's just read that. Okay. It got, why must they try to tear down my house when they know it's made from love? And they could never stand in my way. We made a vow to love through it all. We are one and no one has the right to tear my love down. No matter what the people say, I'm going to love you anyway. And I can't let go. Okay, so I'm going to end it there, y'all. I hope this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity here. Okay, bye, y'all.